here with Taylor Davis, a senior on the BSU women's basketball team from Kirkston, Minnesota. Uh, first off, Taylor, uh, kind of just hometown, just down the road. Uh, what brought you to Bemidji State originally? Um, I knew I wanted to play Division Two, so I was kind of looking for schools around the area, and um, I really liked the town of Bemidji, and they have a really good education education program. But uh, obviously, I wanted to play basketball, and this was the best fit. So. Um, from what I understand, you were a post uh, in high school, a lot of back to the basket uh, basketball. Come to the college game and uh, kind of move maybe to the 3 4 spot, mm -hmm. um, and you play a lot more uh, with your body towards the basket. What was that transition like for you? It actually didn't really happen until about two years <laughs> into my college career, but. Uh, it's been a it's been a good change because now I know that I'm, I'm more versatile. I can play down low still a little bit, but yeah, I have become more of a shooter. But uh, it's kind of it's been kind of cool um, being able to get better at outside shooting too. So, um, how much shooting did you do in high school? Did you know that you had a, a pretty good touch from <laughs> a certain range? Or I would stay within the 10, 12 foot range in high school. I didn't really go any further than that. So now I'm shooting threes, and it's just like, oh, I can do that too. I guess sometimes. So yeah, it's kind of. What kind of work did you have to put in uh, those first couple of years to really develop your shot? Um, I would just shoot driveway, gym, wherever, and as the years have gone on, I would move further and further out, and then by about my junior year, you know, coach said, you need to start shooting threes, and I said, oh, okay, so I would just, I would seriously just go shoot threes over and over, so. Well, uh, I know in your sophomore year, uh, you had the, uh, the game against St. Cloud State, uh, where you posted 31 points. Uh, do you remember that? That game it still in particular, uh, obviously, yes, uh, <laughs> it was a standout yeah, game Yeah, I was just on that game. I just I was in the groove. I I felt like I couldn't miss at certain points. Um, yeah, in that game, I still really wasn't shooting, you know, outside shots. So it was mostly inside moves at that game. So, yeah. Um, talk a little bit. Uh, moving off the court, talk a little bit about uh, your family support. Uh, it seems like your your parents and your families uh, at uh, almost every game. Home they are. We were just talking about that. Uh, over my set, uh, over my four years, my parents have only missed about six games, so they come to every game. They live and breathe it, and uh, they've always been supportive. They've been telling me since I was little, you know, they're like, if you work hard enough, you can play at the college level, and they're really proud, and they're really supportive, and I couldn't have asked for a better family. So, You've had some success in the classroom as well. Um, how has the balance between being a student athlete been for you through your four years? It's been really good, actually. Like, yeah, there's always that first freshman year where it's a little rocky, but um, it's it's been working really well. I love the program here. I love my classes, and I'm really excited um, to go out and become a teacher as well. You know, so um, it's actually been a pretty good balance for the four years. So. Pretty young roster this year, uh, a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores. Uh, being a senior, what uh, what have you done or what have you felt you've needed to do to, to guide some of those players, not only on the court but off the court? Well, I do feel like I stepped up this year. I, I've never been a real uh, vocal person, but this year I felt like, you know, okay, you're a senior, you're a captain, you need to step up. And um, I've just given them advice. I've helped them on and off the court, and, you know, if they struggle with – they're struggling with class I'll say hey it's okay it'll get better you know so um, I do feel like I've come out of my comfort zone a little bit this year but it's been really good for me too so talk a little bit about uh, your career as a whole um, not only on the court but off the court just uh, what has the Bemidji State experience been for you it's been awesome I couldn't have asked for a better college experience um, it's I've always kind of been a small town person so I really like the feel here it wasn't too big or overwhelming um, I just I really I liked it from day one. I, I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else, and obviously basketball fit in perfectly, and um, I knew that I wanted to play a Division two, and this just worked out the best. So, um, Obviously, not only did you get to play close to home, but you also, uh, every year, get at least one opportunity to play uh, back in Crookston. Mm -hmm. uh, what are those games like when you're uh, sort of back on your home floor? It's awesome, actually. You know, I've played a lot of uh, um, playoff games there, so it's a really familiar place to play. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool when you have fans on both sides <laughs> um, cheering for you. That was the best my freshman year. So um, I always like going back to Kirkston and playing. So uh, Education uh, major, mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what kind of drove you to that? It uh, kind of sounded like you had that in your mm -hmm. in mind when you were choosing college. Yeah, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. And I always knew I wanted to be an elementary teacher. And everybody says, oh, Bemidji has a great elementary program. And I said, all right, I'll check it out. And uh, I've known I wanted to be a teacher since I was in about second grade, so I knew I knew that coming into it. So, do you have a, a certain focus or grade level that uh, you'd prefer? Or um, 
younger grades, first or second. I'm, I'm about to student teach for a third grade class, so that'll be really cool. Um, I guess uh, beyond uh, school and career, it sounds like uh, you're engaged. I am. <laughs> uh, do you have uh, the plans laid out yet? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he is um, in his first year at pharmacy school at Duluth, so I will be moving there at the um, in this summer, actually. And uh, he'll finish out school there, and hopefully I'll be teaching somewhere around Duluth. So, yeah, pretty excited about that. Uh, like we talked about, uh, you've had a, a successful career, um, both on and off the court. Um, you're a senior. Is, if you could say one statement, one word, uh, to incoming freshmen uh, coming in as student athletes, uh, what, would, what would your piece of advice be? Uh, focus and determination. <laughs> um, you, do, you do need to have a balance and stay focused, but also, above all, when it gets stressful, you need to just have fun and realize you're a college athlete and not very many people get to do that. So, Well, Taylor, thank you very much for taking some time with us today and uh, good luck this last month of uh, your uh, student athlete career. Thank you. Mm -hmm.